Hello, hello, it's Brandy Janae. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel today. In today's video, I am going to be stuffing my cash envelopes and savings challenges. So if you're interested in seeing that, let's go ahead and get started. Again, my name is Brandy Janae. I am a 40 year old cash stuffer that is just trying my best <laughs> to do what I can to save money and get myself out of financial debt. So if that is something that interests you, be sure to go back and check out some of my other videos. You will see that I am very, 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 very like brand new to the budgeting process. So I am just kind of fumbling my way <laughs> through the entire process and hoping that I can inspire someone else to just get started. I am living proof that you do not have to know all of the things. You just have to start. So with that being said, I am going to go ahead and get started. In today's video, I'm going to be counting or stuffing $474 and you will be able to see where all of this money goes in a bit. If you are new here, just so you know, this bank bag is available in my Etsy shop and that information can be found in the description box. So again, we're counting $474. This cash breakdown sheet is also what I take with me to the bank so that I can give it to the tellers and they know exactly which denominations that I need. I do sell these as well. It comes on a sheet of six and I just cut them down and I just printed off a bunch of them because it is a digital uh, printable item. So I just print off a bunch of them and then just hand it to them and then take it back because I do like to staple the receipt to it just for my own like record keeping purposes no actual purpose at all just for me um but these can also be laminated and then reused so if you prefer to do it that way you're more than able to do that and again this is available in my shop so we have 474 dollars so 50, 51, 20, 40, 50, 82, 20 40 50 83 20 40 350 360 370 80 90 400 5 10 15 20 25 30 35 40 45 50 Oh, you guys, she gave me an extra one. Uh oh, she gave me an extra one. Oh, I don't even know what I'm supposed to do. Do you like call your bank and tell them they gave you an extra dollar? Ah, because I was only supposed to have 24. Oh my gosh. I don't even know what I'm supposed to do. Like, let me see. What did she tell me? She put 474 on this paper. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna have to like run up there and take her this dollar back. Maybe. I don't know. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna I'm gonna put one of those dollars to the side. And then I did see some B's. J's and A's in here. So I'm going to take those out and you will see what I do with those later. All right. Okay. So I have one, two, three, four, five of those that I am pulling out and I will just put those in the back. And again, I will show you what I do with those in just a little bit. All right. So, now, oh God, I don't know what to do. I don't know if I'm supposed to call. Like, do you call your bank and say, hey, lady, I think you gave me an extra dollar. I don't even know what to do. I don't even know if the bank's still open. Ugh. Okay, I don't, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna deal with that later. All right, anyway. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and start with my wallet first. Um, and for my wallet, uh-oh, where'd I put my book? All right, guys, I'm like all over the place. Like that totally has just thrown me off. All right, so for my wallet, again, I do not stuff like gas or anything like that because I do ooh, ooh, keep, keep that in my, uh, I have a separate checking account and that is where I keep gas and then like grocery money. And then I just utilize my separate debit card for those purchases. So I've already transferred those, but for household, I did a lot. Oh, wait, let me take out the money I have left over first. All right, so I was gone for most of the time, so I do have like extra money left. Beauty, I'm leaving. Food, I will take out five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 10, 11, 12, 13. Awesome. So this money will all be put in challenges and then miscellaneous, I do leave. 
And for miscellaneous, I have $16. So some of this money in here, I did have to put extra because I was out of town for like four days. So I took some money from the travel envelope and then kind of sorted it into these envelopes in addition to the money I had already had in here. So that is really why I have so much left over. Household, I didn't need any household things because I really wasn't home <laughs> for the second half of the week that I added the additional household money in. So there's that. So for household, I did allocate... $30. I don't know why. I didn't even need that. So I did $30 and I'm doing two tens and two fives. So I have been splitting this money up. So I'm just going to put $15 in here for now. And then I will put the other $15 in here next week. And that has been helping because I've noticed that when I have too much money in here, I tend to just like over shop. So I'm not going to do that anymore. All right, and then for beauty, I do need to add an additional $48. So 20, 40, 5, 6, 7, 8. So $48, 20, 40, 5, 6, 7, 8 for nails. And then, and this beauty money, literally, it just sits here. So if I don't go get my nails done, then I will use that for the next time. I am going to have to do something with this, though, because I know all this money is not going to fit. And then I also am getting my hair done this week. So I did allocate $78 for that. Six, seven, eight. And for me, these are things that are like non-negotiable in my life. So I just put them in the budget and make it work. So 50, 75, 6, 7, 8. And this is like the actual hair appointment and the tip I just calculated up front and then put all of that together. So yeah, that is definitely not going to close, but that's okay. And then for food, I'm doing 50. So I do 20, 40, 45, and 50. And again, I will keep half of that here and then put the other half in my wallet and I will stuff the other half on Monday of next week. So food is done. And then for miscellaneous, I have 40. Well, it won't be 40 because I ended up taking out. Oh, shucks. What did I take out? One, two, three, four, five dollars I took out, I believe. So really then it would be 35 left. 10, 20, 30. One, two, three, four, five, I think. So I'm going to just put uh, the 15 in for now, since I did have some rollover money, and I'll save the $20 for later. So the, the miscellaneous money, I do, if I have BJs and A's, I do take that out of miscellaneous. So, you know, whatever it's left with is what it's left with. All right, and that is my cash wallet. Oh, I do have some receipts that I need to scan. If you are not familiar with the Fetch app, you definitely need to check out my description box. Um, once you scan your receipts, literally just your receipts that you have, you get points, I get points, and you can use those points to redeem gift cards. I did get a J book at some point, so I will add that to my savings challenge. And I actually have more of them, but I pulled them out because my wallet was bulky. So these were additional like uh, BJ's and A's dollars that I did get throughout the last week. Um, and I, like I said, I just put those to the side. All right. And then this money I will stuff on Monday. So I'm going to put that to the side. All right. And now I'm done with my wallet. So let's go ahead and get the rest done. So we are going to start in uh, let's start with this one. All right, so for birthday, I am going to put 25. And at this point, I'm actually just saving money for um, like other people's birthdays because my birthday is finally over. Oops. So let's do 25 and now birthdays has 
100, 150, 175. And I'm actually going to be taking some of that out because my assistant's birthday is coming up this month. All right, so travel, I'm going to also be adding 25. And as you can see, if you've been here, my travel envelope is a lot lighter because obviously I traveled, so I took the money out. So now travel has 125. So I added 25. All right, planners is also empty now because I did buy some planner things. Christmas has 10. I'm not going to add anything to Christmas. Clothes had money, but I took that out. Oh, I'm sorry. Wait a minute. Okay, so planners has nothing. Christmas, I'm not adding anything, but it still has 10. Clothes I took out because I purchased some clothes while I was out of town. Car maintenance, I am adding, I'm not adding anything, but car maintenance has 20, 40, 60, 75. And giving is also empty because I did uh, give something to someone that needed it. So that binder is done. All right, and then, okay, now let's go back to my other binder. All right, so, nope, I don't wanna do this one yet. All right, let's go with the big one. All right, so for my bills this time, I am going to be adding $20 and bills now has 100, 120, 140. And this is in an attempt to get a month ahead. That's not my priority. If you've been here, you know that my priority right now is to get out of debt. Um, so that is where I'm at for debt this time. I'm going to be putting $20 because I was able to just make another debt payment recently and this is the first check of the month so for medical i'm going to also be putting 20 dollars. i need to update these trackers 20 dollars for medical so now medical has 20 40 60 80 90 91 92 so 20 dollars now has 92 all right, for a new car, I'm just going to be adding $3 this time. One, two, three, four, so now we have 20, 30, 31, 32, 33. And the funny thing about this is I've noticed that um, because I my checks vary because they're bi-weekly, so they're not like the 15th and the 30th. Like I never know how much I'm gonna end up stuffing. So some paychecks I have a ton to stuff. Like I think the next one I'm stuffing like $700. And then some paychecks I only have a little bit to stuff just because of the way the bills fall. So if you notice all of the variations in my stuffing, that is why. All right, and then so again for the BJ and A binder, which is our envelope, which is the Brandy Janae envelope. Let me go back. J. This is the money that I told you I was putting to the side. I should put these separately next time. All right. So today I am adding one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11. Ooh, that's a lot. 11. And so now I have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 
All right, $48. And this money here is money I'm just literally going to accumulate throughout the year. And I will take it at the end to get something either for my business. I don't remember if it was 48 or 49. I'll count it later. Either something for my business or something for my YouTube channel. All right, and then it is now March. So I'm going to be doing the March savings challenge and uh, I'm going to be coloring in five of these little plants. I think I'm just gonna color in the pots. And you guys know I do not take the time to color well because ain't nobody got time for that. Um, <laughs> and I just get rid of these things anyway. So I will be adding $50 to the March challenge. And these savings challenges are also found in my shop. There's one for each month and it is a printable item. So there's that. So $50 there. And then my sinking funds challenge this time, I am going to just add 10. And so All right, so I will color in, uh, maybe I'll do a five and five ones. One, two, three, four, five. My goal is to be finished with this challenge for the next pay time so that I can go back to working on these other ones that I started last week. So for sinking funds, I have 20, 40, 60, 80, and 90. And the other money in here is for um, uh, one of these other challenges. <laughs> oh, the phone challenge, the new phone challenge. Um, and I did do those with my income tax refund. So if you missed that, go check that video. That video was a lot of fun. I literally only did savings challenges. So it was a lot of fun. Um, so there is that. All right. And then... Before we go to the other binder, I am going to go ahead and stuff this rollover money. And so I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. So eight ones, which is exciting. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. These savings challenges are also available in my shop. So right now I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So I put eight in here and now I have 16, which is exciting. I'm almost halfway there. And this will just be extra debt payments once I finish these. Again, savings trackers to me are just a fun way, or savings challenges are just a fun way to save money without it just being like boring, putting money somewhere in the bank. Um, I did not get any twos. I need to do that next time. I did actually get some $2 bills, but I don't know where I put them. Hmm. Okay. Um, so fives. Oh, I know where they are. Never mind. Um, I had two rollover fives, so I will put that in here. Let me write that down. No twos. Ten dollars. So this should be thirty dollars. Let's see. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. Very good. All right, and then I did have one rollover 10. All right. And now we have $20. All right. All right, no 20s this time, and that is the end of this binder. All 
All right, and then I do have my 50 envelopes, which is here. And I had to stuff 22 and 28 for this time. So that's $50 and I don't count that. So I have no idea how much is in here. Total. Well, I mean, I do have an idea, but I don't count it. <laughs> I could literally just add up all these envelopes, but I just don't. All right. And 20, one and two goes in this one. And 25, six, seven, eight goes in this one. Hmm. And I have no idea why I have an extra five. So, ba -dum -bum. <laughs> no clue why I have an extra five. So I will have to go back and figure that out later. Um, but for next time, I'm going to do 32 and six. So that's $38. So that'll be my next stuffing. Why do I have an extra five? Huh. You guys, I have no clue. I have no idea. Okay, well, I will figure that out later. Anyway, that is the end of this video. Thank you again for tuning in with me today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please let me know in the comments below how you're doing for the month of March so far. I know we're not that far in. Today is actually the 13th. Um, so we're only about, you know, a little less than halfway through. But I'm just curious, how are you doing for month March so far? I'm going to be honest with you guys. I've been doing a lot of spending because I turned 40, so I'm balling out. But... <laughs> April will be better. And fortunately, I did get a considerable amount of birthday money. So I'm not necessarily spending my money. I'm spending other people's money, which I feel like psh, that's okay. Because that's my business. So anyway, I want to know how you're doing. Let me know in the comments. Also, leave me a heart emoji in your favorite color. And um, that way I know you made it this far to the end of the video. I hope you're well. I hope you're safe. And I will catch you in my next video. Bye.